Tim and Fuzz have taken on Jerry's 1988 Fiat Uno Turbo, an Italian car with more issues than a magazine stand. Right, we're going to try and start the engine up, see if all the electronics are oh, OK. Sweet. We've got some power going through to the battery, so we've got power going into the ignition system. We've got a little spark telltale on here yeah. to see if we've got any spark, and we are ready to give this a go. Are you OK? On goes the fuel pump. Yeah, we've got a spark. Yeah, regular? No, we had one spark in the beginning and that was it. Really? Yeah. Let's go again. There you go. Oh, hang on, we've got a spark now. We've actually got a spark. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Now it's stopped, so it's intermittent. OK, right. So we've got an intermittent spark, switch off. Can I say a word to you? What? Immobilizers. Yeah, immobilizers. <laughs> it's a boy racer issue that's yeah. preventing the injection system from working. So we've stolen away somebody's car, but for a nice reason. But immobilizers don't care. No. They're not selective. No, oh, we exactly. like these boys. <laughs> nah. I'm remaining hidden wherever the hell it is. I think we should start stripping the car down and then we'll find the immobilizer anyway. So once again, the SOS workshop has a bit of a turkey on its hands and it's not even Christmas. For a start, that turbocharged 1.3-litre engine may or may not be in good order, but we won't know till it's had a full strip down. Owner Jerry obviously loves his alloy wheels, but the ones currently on the car are cheap, bashed and nasty. So we'll need replacements that befit a real boy racer. But the biggest job by far is the bodywork. The thin Italian steel is riddled with holes from top to bottom. The battered fiberglass body kit with its Testarossa flared arches and low front splitter will need to be carefully removed and somehow salvaged. Even the cracked windscreen will need replacing. 